Tonight, a woman who survived a brutal hatchet attack last Halloween is telling her story. It's one of horror, survival, and forgiveness. CBS 13's Ashley Sharp with the interview you'll see only on CBS 13. It was Halloween night last year that turned into mayhem here on Main Street in Placerville for one woman, the subject of a random, brutal attack. She shares her story tonight, one year later, for the first time. Placerville's annual Halloween celebration, a place for family fun and trick or treating, ended in a nightmare for Christine Hall last year. It was late at night. Hall was heading home after dinner, and she was brutally attacked by strangers who she saw vandalizing downtown businesses. I don't stand for looking the other way. While not able to turn a blind eye, she confronted the two women and was instead left with a blind eye. And she stepped back and just hit me with a hatchet in the face. She and a friend fought back, both injured badly. The horrifying image of the two women sticks with her even a year later. These girls were both dressed as Harley Quinn. It's something I can't get out of my mind. Hall left blind in her left eye. Well, the hatchet hit me across from here to here. And as you can see, my retina is blown out and my pupil is blown out. Three surgeries helped Hall keep her eye intact. She says to this day, she doesn't know why this happened. I feel like I was protected by God, and I definitely feel like the Satan was pushing his hand on their back. October 7th, the two women convicted were both sentenced to prison. Theodora Economo to four years and Vivian Bertrand to two. Hall says she went to court that day and found closure. I have hope and I have faith in humanity still. Economo is the one who struck Hall with the hatchet. As she read her closing statement in court, she asked Hall this question. Can you find it in your heart to forgive me? And I stood up in the back of the courtroom and I threw her a little heart. I said, it's already done, man. It's already done.